every relationship, whether it's romantic, friendship, or one between a parent and a child, has a set of norms. These implicit or explicit agreements usually develop naturally over the course of the relationship and form the basis of the interactions. For couples, these agreements may include identifying who's responsible for which chores, how much time is spent alone, or who handles the finances. Most often, these agreements are implicit, but they become explicit when things aren't working well. My name is Dr. Jody, and I'm a registered psychologist with expertise in all things related to psychological health and resilience. I'm also the CEO and founder of MyWorkplaceHealth.com, and I'm a national expert in psychological health and safety in the workplace. In this video, I'll be talking about romantic relationship agreements and how to navigate them in a healthy and productive way. Healthy couples will, throughout the course of their relationship, negotiate and renegotiate their terms depending on what's happening in their individual and collective lives. For example, when a couple has a baby, often there's a dramatic shift in roles and responsibilities for each partner, and a natural and organic shift in relationship agreements starts to happen over time. These norms or agreements are a healthy part of a relationship. All of us value some element of predictability and control in our lives. And there's something to be said for having relationship expectations articulated, assuming that they're fair, acceptable, and demonstrate respect for each partner. So should these relationship agreements be formalized in a way that we sometimes see in the media? Formalizing and writing the very natural parts of a relationship can add a clinical cold level to the natural fluidity that can make relationships so wonderful. Although drawing up formal relationship agreements likely has the ultimate intent of formalizing areas a couple feels are important, it's hard to know how this would actually be executed in real life. Consider the much publicized requirement that Priscilla Chan put on Mark Zuckerberg to commit in writing to one date night and 100 quality minutes together a week out of his apartment or Facebook office. What happens if one person's in the hospital for a week? What if a family member dies? What if there's an urgent non-negotiable work or personal commitment one week? Do 400 minutes one week cancel out what's required for the remaining month? Are you allowed to bank relationship commitments? What if a couple is going through a rough patch and both of them actually don't have an interest in spending time together? There are no easy answers to these questions. Although relationship agreements may work for some couples, articulating roles and responsibilities around each other's expectations is much more effectively done the good old fashioned way. Over time and through respectful discussion, revising and refining is needed. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you found this video helpful. Please take a moment to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and follow us on our social media platforms for more helpful tips.